Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. This is going to impose severe costs on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. I want to be clear, the United States is not doing this alone. For months, we've been building a coalition of partners representing well more than half the global economy. 27 members of the European Union, including France, Germany, Italy, as well as the United Kingdom, Canada, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and many others, to amplify the joint impact of our response. I just spoke with the G7 leaders this morning, and we're in full and total agreement. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds, and yen. We're going to stunt the ability of, to finance and grow Rus the, the Russian military. We're going to impose major, and we're going to impair their ability to compete in high-tech 21st century economy. We've already seen the impact of our actions on Russia's currency and the ruble, which early today hit its weakest level ever, ever in history. The Russian stock market plunged today. The Russian government's borrowing rates spiked by over 15 percent.